Morning guys, this is Kenzo Extra Hot Forex. Uh, so let's go straight to our daily daily analysis. It's Tuesday. I hope everyone's having a good time. Uh, I don't think uh, people are back on trading uh, that much. Uh, we're still trying to find the right structure. Uh, as this is the second day of the of the of of the week. So uh, I will just start with German 30 or you can just call that uh, German 40 uh, because they actually changed the name to German 40 as they added other 10 companies but some brokers did not change the name some brokers did not change the name uh, before we continue please smash that subscribe button like share with your friends uh, let's grow the channel guys let's grow the channel uh, remember guys if maybe you did not check my previous video I talked about mentorship uh, which I said is suppose uh, it's just only $15 so it seems like people they don't really understand what's really uh, uh, in there in that package or uh, in what is it actually so I think maybe people they do not they do, they, they they did not listen uh, to the video, but let me explain that again. It's just a mentorship. Mentorship means that I will be trying to assist you where you need some help. Already you are a trader, or you already know how to trade. Maybe you still have problem. Uh, maybe taking the trades, uh, the confidence is very low. Maybe you get out early. You just need that person to tell you, just hold, just do this, just do that. It's not like signals. It's someone who is just guiding you. Mentorship. So it's just that. It's not like signals or maybe like a forex course. It's not a forex course. On a forex course, it's where people learn. Like they go deep in the trading stuff and you teach them what is this how to draw the trans lines how to do this so on a mentorship is not like that i'm just going to assist you on the things that you already know but maybe you don't know them enough or maybe you know them in a different way you see uh, i hope maybe uh, that uh, it's loud and clear so without wasting your time on german 30 this is german 30 uh what do we see guys uh, we see that we have a horizontal support area here do you see that uh, i hope you can see that so on this horizontal it's where the market comes and respect the area do you see that so it means the market just bounce uh, and create something like that so what do we do on top right so on top here it's not like we have to place this but I tried to connect them and they also uh, made sense that's why I did connect this so maybe this push will reach this area before maybe we see another push maybe here is going to be like this maybe until we see another push but this is a new year guys uh, we might see some different moves but actually this week we might see some crazy moves so that the market it will find its own structure uh, before we can continue uh, with that so actually this week it's just a day to analyze get used to whatever that is happening because the market changes guys if maybe you used to see things here uh, last week or whatever you might find that this year the market might be move a bit slower and stuff like that especially last year the market was like really crazy the market was really volatile that was something uh, not really new but that was not something which was happening uh, every day when we talk about the past years. But last month, uh, sorry, last year, that was just usual. That was just usual. Uh, it was something that we used to. Uh, the market used to go up and down nonstop. Just look at this crazy candlesticks. So here, I think the market is already up. As we see, the market uh, moved from this support area. 
so what we can do is we can try to change our time frame and see uh, what we can get on a smaller time frame so on a smaller time frame still i don't see really any good opportunity i can just try to connect whatever that i see here do you see that let me make that something like this uh, sorry about that so what i see is i see one two three this way just connecting going uh, down you see this the market was just going down after we see a breakout then the market is now pushing up so it means this is no longer valid let's try to find something which is valid and try to see if maybe if maybe we, we can get something uh, i don't see that let's try to find some that's why i say sometimes you don't have to force these things uh, we can say something like this yeah something like this let me remove this something like this but i can't say it's like really really strong uh, but i see so many candlesticks did really respect this area do you see this did really respect this area so but that is not really uh, strong enough maybe we need something actually we need something like this to come back again to give us that move but already we are high it's better to wait for a very strong uh, sell-off before we can talk about buying on the sell-off side it means you can wait for the market to reach the highest higher which is going to be the resistance before we can see the market going lower some maybe they might say kenzo why don't you just go on a bit smaller time frame maybe we'll see something yes let me try to do that uh, let me try to do that still i don't really see uh, anything i don't really see any if i do i'll be if i can say i see something i'll be forcing the market uh, actually i won't say i see something or i see let's see let me try to connect this i see this point here do you see this point and this point and another point here if we try to connect them maybe they might give us something let's try that uh, okay do you see what i'm trying to show you here it means that this is a resistant area because the market did not break this area for some time you can see one here two three then broke out of this resistant then the market came back again and now the market is pushing up something like that is what i see at the moment but maybe for you to buy again wait for a small rejection before you can say you can buy again but we already high uh, what i think is you can just wait for the market to reach the highest high here or the the resistant area and when it tries to give you that sell-off it's where you can just jump in so let's move to the next one we don't have to take the whole day on one thing so now we are on 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 gold i hope there is us oil here we will see so now we are on gold guys what do we see on gold firstly let's use a bit smaller time frame and see uh, sorry a bit bigger like four hour time frame uh, so that our trans line uh, should be actually the, the must be valid uh, our trend line should be valid so if uh, your trend line you don't think your trend line are valid it's better to use a bit bigger time frame i see something here uh something like that you see here it's connected nicely remember guys uh, i like to do double lines why because it gives me an area where I can just say it's a zone, not only a line, right? So now we have two lines. Now I can try to push a little bit higher so that I can have a most touch. Mostly the market will not touch 
exactly on the line but if you have double lines you can just try to stretch the other one they can be like a few pips away then at least you can able to touch other candlesticks. listings now you can see that oh the market was moving like this or like that so here the bigger picture is we can see that now this we identify this as what as an uptrend it means we should look for those buy positions right so what we can do here is we i also see an area here do you see that this is the zone where you can see around that area the market was really doing its thing do you see this area the market respected this area several times and after the market broke out came back and retouched from this area and now the market is just pushing up from that area so which means why don't we just push this uh, to go up to here because there is a, a possibility that the market can also come back here and push up why because these ones are recent you can see they are not really old like this one so we can just connect from one two and three here if the market is going to come back and push up again from there but even from here we can see that the market can really push up from this why because the market it seems to be still respecting uh, this uptrend i hope you can see that guys i hope you can see that so let's move to the next one let's move to the next one i think that this should be oil or if maybe i, I did not explain much guys once we're still above the, this uh, support area it's where you can have your strategy to buy around this area unless if the market is going to break this area if the market breaks this support obviously you're not going to sell you're going to wait for the market to break even this one because the market might come back and respect that then you can sell below this area here i hope that explained a lot so us 30 okay okay i don't think there is us oil here so let's check us oil because i have people who said they also want us oil uh us oil uh, where are you okay i think let me try to find that quicker because i'm using uanda as uh, as my server here so i want everything to be the same or i can just say yti maybe i will find that very quick i don't see this um okay here is yeah okay so now let's go straight to us oil and see what we can get because i have also people who want us oil guys so i hope i did not waste much of your time firstly let's use daily time frame and see what we can get from a daily time frame uh daily time frame try to resign it on the daily time frame we are here so i hope you can see everything right so what do we see firstly we can see that the market was on a very nice uptrend you can see that the market was just on a very nice uptrend every time when the market t uh, touched this area the market pushed up so now we have something like this so the best thing that we can do is let's go uh, and see what uh, really what what's happening uh, there let's delete this so around this where i'm deleting uh, it was the market creating a, a resistant you can see that there was a resistant around this area and the market broke that and now the market is shooting higher and higher so let's just use a bit smaller time frame so that we can see what's really happening for our time frame on a four hour time frame maybe now you can see what i was talking about when i say we had some sort of a resistance around that area do you see that so from that uh, we saw another breakout yeah something like that so you can see that now we see some sort of a breakout here 
a small retest now the market shoot up and now it's coming back again then the market is pushing up again so but it seems like the market is struggling to break this area yes it's going to be like that because even if we when we check to our left you see this area it seems like some sort of a area where the market was struggling to break if we draw that going further you will see that oh that is an area where we can just call uh, a very very important area do you see that that's why we see we can even do something like this so around that area the market is just re uh, ranging you can see here you can even see here so the market is just ranging around those areas what can you do from those areas only buy when the market is breaking uh, above this area or buy it if maybe the market is going to go lower and push up for now on a bigger time frame you can see that this area is just a ranging market right so you don't have to be in that type of uh, of a structure or maybe you can draw something like this and say if maybe if maybe the market is going to go lower I have something like this at least we just connected to it means we left with the third one maybe the market will reach this area before we see a push up I hope you guys now understand what I'm trying to show you uh, this is US oil guys this is US oil guys so what can we do now uh, let's move to the next one which is uh, US 30 okay US 30 so now we are on US 30 so on US 30, I hope you can see what's really happening here. The market is really pushing up at the moment. So let me just maybe use one hour. Why? Because, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It shouldn't be a day. It should be one hour. Because I want to see what's really happening uh, on a very, very, very close uh, structure so what i see is the market is breaking out of our resistance do you see that the market is breaking out of this resistance uh, which means the market is now like really really bullish but uh, this is what this was not safe here because just look at this candlesticks and weeks it's the market sold off again went up went down i know people lost uh, some real cash around this area you can see the market was just consolidating before it take uh, its like correct move. So, but around this area, we see that the market respected this area, which we supposed to draw. Maybe the market might come back. Uh, we don't know when, but maybe the market might come back around that area. So, I think the best thing uh, that we can do is let's go to like four hour time frame so that we can see on on a bigger scale what is really happening so what you can see here is the market is still bullish guys but the market is like breaking out of here and i can see uh, before here there was no any candlestick closed above that resistance can you see that i hope you see that you can see that uh, this candlestick just closed above and which is a good thing because now the market is doing what the market can keep uh, pushing up but the market was really really crazy uh, before that so the best thing that we can do is we can just look at this and see what we can do then maybe we can have a nice entry around these areas i hope you understand that but at the moment i'm just focusing on a nasdaq i'm not going to have a position on us 30 i hope you understand that so now the best thing that you can do is is to buy us 30 that's what i see right so let's go straight to nasdaq 100 and see what we can get so now on nasdaq 100 i hope you did see this uh, yesterday so we have something like this here do you see that uh this was like a resistant i mean before it was a resistant where the market was respecting this area do you see that so now we had a very nice structure you can see that so this structure i did talk about this structure uh, yesterday even day before that that the market was on a bearish momentum just look what happened then the market did respect the structure actually 
but later on the market just broke out and now it seems like the market is going to give us that uh, rejection before we can say the market is about to push higher but we can just go to a bit smaller time frame so that we can see what's really happening let's use two hour time frame uh, because it's way too easy to use it's in the middle so we can't say it's a short time i, I mean it's beat on a one hour and beat on a four hour time frame so look what's really happening we saw a downtrend now the market now the market is uh, uh sorry the market was on a downtrend after we see the market breaking out here you can see that now i think the market you can see the market is coming back i think the market is coming back just to retest maybe the market might come around this area like 16500 uh, before we see the market try to push up again this is called a breakout and this is a retest so it shows that the market is actually on bullish momentum then we are supposed to do it wait for a retest before we do it we buy i hope you understand that so we no longer are, um, under this bearish momentum since the market did break out but this was a very clear and nice structure for a bearish uh, trend line you see so we saw that the market was just going lower now the market really changed that now the market will just create something like this unless if the market is going to uh, keep going lower we can say oh maybe the market was just giving us that fake breakout now the market is coming back uh, to respect our previous trend but i don't see that happening at the moment i am um, what i see is i see that the market might just uh, come and respect this area before pushing up again i hope you understand that guys so thanks guys don't forget to smash that subscribe button like share with your friends this is kenzo extra hot forex uh, bye